Hello and welcome to Tour Obscure. We've gone international. Today we are in Alanya and we've come to look at Alanya Castle. We're going to have a little walk through and see what we can find. Now, there's not going to be a massive amount of historical information in this. I've not done research like I usually do for my other videos. I am on holiday, so I've, I've not really had time. Um, so there's not going to be loads of facts and stuff like that. But come and join us for the journey. See what we can find. I'm sure there's loads of interesting things. The easiest way to get to Alanya Castle is by the Alanya Cable Car System, which is located just a couple of minutes walk from Cleopatra Beach. On our way to the cable car station, we were met by a huge political rally in aid of the Turkish local elections, which are taking place on the 30th of March. After fighting our way through the huge crowds, we finally made it to the cable car station. The cable car system is rather new, only opening in 2017, and runs for a total of 900 meters. The system is able to move up to 1,000 people per hour, and the journey to the top of the hill takes just seven minutes. The cable car system offers great value for money, as you're not only getting an efficient and quick journey to the top of the hill, but also amazing views over the Alanya coastline. So we've just got off the cable cars, quite reasonably priced to be fair, uh, I think it was 520 lira, which I'll be honest it's too hot to even think about what that works like in pounds, so I'll pop that on the screen now, but it's beautiful up here, some amazing views, as you probably saw from uh, the cable car footage as well, but very smooth journey as well, like I say, it's a uh, more or less new system what they built, only built in 2017. Uh, very clean, no uh, major bumps if you're scared of heights or something like that. So far, so good. That's a cable car station down there. And that offers a view down into the center of Alanya, which I ventured down into yesterday, very beautiful. If you've been to Turkey before, you'll know uh, there's an abundance of cats in random places. This one's found a very nice uh, sleeping spot with a beautiful view. Living the dream. Well, that very cute cat what you've just seen. Uh, if you heard that child what's crying up there, it's just bitter. So uh, it's not that cute. And despite the cat just biting somebody, my partner thinks it's a good idea to start trying to stroke it. Just let him get on with it. So just reaching the end of this long path now from 
a cable car station. And the castle comes into view. Now I've not done as much research on this as I usually do with videos. Uh, I mean, I am on holiday to be fair. Um, so don't expect a vast amount of information. So this castle was built in 1226, the castle what you see now. It was the site of previous fortifications in the Roman times, uh, but then the area was conquered by the Suljuk Empire. Uh, they then built this castle, what we see today, in 1226. A uh, very strategic location, um, Alanya, a very important port uh, historically. So this site up here overlooks three sides of this area, uh, down onto what's now known as Cleopatra, and then down into Alanya. So a very strategic point indeed, and um, probably why there's been a long list of fortifications on this site. Absolutely no shortage of recycling here. They love it. And surrounding the castle is these walls. And in total, there's four miles of these walls that surround the castle. So it's very heavily fortified. And you'll see down the bottom there, a small tower. Now, originally there was 140 of these towers. How many is left, I'm not sure. Uh, I doubt I'll be able to count them all, but there was 140. So we'll uh, see how many we can see. So after a little break on the benches at the top, there is a uh, more steps and this is the entrance to the castle it's a lot of work going on uh, repairing little bits as you can see it is just start at season here in uh, Turkey so probably just getting ready for the uh, busy period It's obvious them steps once led somewhere. I would imagine there might have been another tower of some sort just on uh, this location here. You can see more of the walls there. Just jutting out. It's absolutely beautiful up here. I've uh, walked through that part of the castle. And now it's uh, back down. So let's see where we're going next. You can see just up there, the walls extend far into the distance there. It's very much reminiscent of Great Wall of China. But like I said, four miles of walls surround this castle. There is some uh, information boards knocking about in English. Uh, I mean, it's a bit of a difficult read to be honest. Uh, not criticising anybody, but uh, one sentence in there. It was constructed on the remains of the Hellenistic fortress in an R, with many preserved sections of the wall from that era. I would imagine, but the an R is meant to say an area. But there is uh, there is some information boards, and you can just about get the gist of what they were saying. Is there more of the wall there? It's, it's really well preserved, really well preserved. And at the top here, I've actually got a restaurant and a cafe with an outdoor seating area, what's been built in part of the castle. So uh, I think it's time for a drink. A Dallas steak. No, but I'm steak. <laughs> what are you having? Yeah, I might have a co I might have a cocktail, me. Yeah. yeah.
another quiet little cute cafe here. Office a bit more shade. It's like a little town up here, you, you don't realise. I thought it were uh, just going to be a just a visit to a castle, but there's actually uh, like a little community up here. Little stalls and So just after you come down from the cafe, as you've just seen, there's a, it's like a little community, loads of little shops and it continues on round here. I say it's very different, you won't find anything like this at, say, Connorsbury Castle. But there's uh, all these little stalls selling rugs and, and clothes just at the top of the castle. So, very interesting. So like I said, I've not done that much research on this because I'm on holiday. Um, but I can only imagine this like little community, what's at the top here. I did read that in the 19th century that quite a few houses were built uh, within the castle walls. So uh, this must be it, what was built in the 19th century. So at the top of the hill, just after the cafe, uh, there is a mosque. And as you can hear, the calls to prayer have just started. Uh, I believe that's what it is anyway. So this mosque is uh, 16th century. So again, quite old. But it's all uh, red brick. It looks like there's been some renovation work to it. There's some bricks that are quite new, but it's uh, it's still very impressive, nonetheless. Some of this brick works really impressive as well. So we've just been inside the mosque. Uh, there, there is people praying, so I didn't film. Uh, I don't know if you can. Uh, it's not a risk I'm willing to take if it disrespects their religion. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me at the moment, but the calls to prayer, I believe it is, uh, have just started, but it's, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, inside the mosque, it's, um, it's all whitewashed walls. Uh, it's very seamless as well. Like obviously on the outside, you can see it's all brick exterior, but inside it's just whitewashed walls very seamless very beautiful uh, quite a few people praying but the uh, calls have just started now and it's uh, it's very loud very very loud uh, i believe you can hear it right down in the center of alanya uh, i think that's what we heard yesterday <laughs> Just after the mosque, we've got some uh, public displays of pictures. I believe that is the mosque we've just been in. I'll show you what this area looked like. That is in the 1960s, that photo. And 1836 again, and just look at that. As I mentioned earlier, in the video about 140 towers that shows you all 140 towers obviously it doesn't look like that now but that's what it once looked like that is an incredible structure and again like I said a little community is a little bizarre 
up here, a little square with loads of little shops around. Really beautiful, really beautiful. And my missus has just seen, they do the iris photos. I don't know if you've seen them online where you can get a picture of your eye taken and they put them together. So she's seen that, so she's gonna want one of them. So, I don't know what they are. Little pots, maybe, I don't know. They look like fruit. That's so bizarre. I'm not very, you can tell I'm not very cultured, can't you? Oh, they make little lights out of them, I can see now, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> Definitely not very cultured. This is very interesting. Um, so these look like some sort of fruit or vegetable what's grown. And then they're hollowed out. You can see the work taking place here to decorate them. And then they're obviously painted and they turn into these. The craftsmanship in that is absolutely incredible. And all that made from some sort of vegetable. Amazing. It's so extensive. There's there's just paths branching off each way. You don't really know which way to go. Um, I mean, I, I very highly doubt we're going to cover everything what this site has got to offer uh, in this video. I would imagine so. You okay? Oh, can we go that way? Ah, oh, it's very much appreciated. So we can come through there. It's perfect. Thank you very much, my friend. Appreciate it. Okay. Olive, olive tree. Our now is not season. September, October. So. Oh, lovely. Little turtle. I would have never known this if uh, this guy entered. Found us just wandering uh, aimlessly on these paths, but amazing. Very beautiful. So the fella, what uh, shouted us over, he's just more or less took us on a full tour through, um, I think it's off the main track. Uh, I, I don't even know if we were allowed on there, but he took us through. Showed some very interesting things. We got to hold a little turtle. <laughs> Wouldn't have imagined that for a second when I said I was gonna come to a castle. Uh, but he's left us here. Uh, this is an old mosque. Um, I believe this predates the one we've been in already. Uh, that was its replacement. So we'll uh, go and have a look at the the old mosque. Uh, I say that, I've just seen, but it looks like there's some sort of graduation ceremony going on. 
in there at the moment. Uh, so probably not going to get to go in. But uh, again, it's a, a lovely little building tucked away into trees. Just reaching the uh, top of the hill now. If you can see down there is one of the towers. So it just shows you how vast this castle is. So there's, there's no shortage of toilets on site. There's, there's a set of toilets, I'd say every 15 minutes walking or so. They do charge, it's about 15 liras per person, which is it's about 50 pence. But the toilets are really, really well kept, really clean. But uh, the site's really, really extensive. I didn't realise how big it were. Uh, I'm actually running out of battery on my filming equipment. Uh, so whether we're going to finish this video, who knows? Um, but yeah, if you're going to, if you're going to come to this place, um, especially in summer months, make sure you bring plenty of sun cream, plenty of water, etc, etc, because this is massive. I think we've reached the very top of this old fortification now. And look at the size of them walls, that is ridiculous. Absolutely massive. Again, you can see down there, the castle, or parts of the castle. In the distance, then you've got private homes that are built, just in between this location and what I think is the main tower of this uh, castle. And that just there is the bar, cafe, where we enjoyed some drinks earlier. So uh, again, shows you how vast this site is. But yeah, it's just, it's just really weird because we're still within the grounds of the castle, but there's just little tiny communities. Like, you know, there's a car park here and there's a couple of little houses just over there. Uh, and then just here, I've got a supermarket. So it's, it's a really bizarre one. Hello. So that will do us for Alanya Castle. It's a, a very beautiful place. It's very extensive. Um, a lot of it has been retained and it's in a lot better condition than a lot of castles you see. But it, it does fill up a, a good chunk of day. So if you are in this area, definitely come and check this out. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. It's appreciated. If you're not, there's a large chunk of you what are not subscribed. Hit that button. Any like, comment, share, all that good stuff, it's very much appreciated. I do read every comment and try to reply to as many as I can. If you want to show your appreciation a little bit step further, there's a thanks button as well if you want to press that. So until next time, see you later.